New tonight, a familiar old market destination is getting a makeover. Tonight, we take you inside the former Vivace restaurant with a new owner eager to make new memories. The story is only on 7 tonight from KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl. A fresh coat of paint is just the first step in an all out overhaul of a restaurant once anchored in the heart of Omaha's old market. Vivace runs deep in this town. You know, like, all of us have come down here and spent different memories here. Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve. And Nick Bartholomew says that's what Vivace will be, a fond memory. As new owner of the old space, his goal, bring a modern element to Vivace's classic reputation. I think that a lot of people would say it didn't need anything, you know, which is why they came here. Um, but I really think that it needs a little bit of an update. And with a strong foundation and a little vision, he says the possibilities here are endless. Like this patio that's gone untouched, unnoticed for years. But that's just one place where Vivace is starting to show its age. They had some holes in the old brick wall, and so they started putting cement in with the brick. So as we tear out this cement, the brick sometimes goes too. He says it won't be easy, but promises to maintain its vintage charm with things like era inspired lighting. And then through the dining room, it'll be more of a halo effect. Along with a spacious, inviting layout where there's even some growing potential. So we're going to plant a tree right here, you know, some of a green implement. And then back here will be um, our, our dining area. Some things never before done in Omaha, but Bartholomew says that's half the fun. He's also the mind behind Overeasy, serving breakfast in West Omaha, part of a restaurant evolution, bringing farm fresh to your plate. The communication with the farmers and really being embedded in the local community isn't a trend. It's not a fad. It's something that we all feel more comfortable um, with with our food. This plate here is something of my own creation. We call it a light and easy. And what's easy to see is all this is an investment in Omaha, Bartholomew's hometown giving you an opportunity to try something new and giving new life to an old favorite. We really like took it upon ourselves to not screw that up, you know, really to keep that tradition, to really keep that Omaha pride, you know, right where it belongs in the heart of the old market. Reporting in downtown Omaha, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7. Bartholomew says he's still working on a name, a menu, and an opening date, but he promises this will not be another breakfast restaurant. I don't know how many times I've eaten at Vivace's, but so I'm very interested to see how it turns That's out. Right. Well, now let's see what Bill is cooking up tonight. I, I